All right then, my friends. So now what we want to do is update the React UI whenever we try to delete a smooth. Because at the minute, if we do this, we have to refresh the page before we see that smoothie gone. And that's because we're deleting it from the database, but we're not updating the local state in the React application. So we're going to do that in this lesson. And by the way, there's not going to be really any super based stuff in this lesson. So if you're not interested in this section of the course, then feel free to skip to the next lesson where we're going to talk about how we can order at the data when we fetch it. But for those of you that are interested, let's now try keeping the local state in the UI in sync with the data in the database. So we make the delete request to Superbase inside the smoothie card component right here, okay? And if there's an error, we log that to the console. If we get data back, which means it's a success, then we log that data to the console and that data is the deleted smoothie. Now. We want to update the local state that's inside the home component, the smoothies right here to match what's going on in the database. So we can't update that state directly from this component right here. We have to update it from this component. So let's first of all make a function in this component. So I'm going to call it handle delete and set that equal to a function like so. And it's the job of this function to look through these smoothies and to update them based on the smoothie we've just deleted over here. All right, so this is going to take in an ID argument, and that's the ID of the smoothie we want to delete from this state. So what we'll do is call the set smoothies function like so. Now we can't just pass in any old value here. We have to use the old smoothies value so that we can cycle through those and look for the smoothie with this ID and remove it, and then we return that new value. So in order to do this, we fire a function inside this function. And as an argument, we get the previous smoothie state. So I'm gonna call that previous smoothies. So that's the state currently before we try to update it, okay? And what we're gonna do inside this function is return a new array, which is then gonna be the new smoothies. So we're gonna return the previous smoothies but we're gonna to filter them to remove an item from it. So what we do is we fire a function when we use this filter method on every smoothie inside this array. And we take in as an argument in that function, that particular smoothie. So the first one, then the second one, then the third one. And if we return true for that particular smoothie, it stays in the array that we return here. If we return false, then we remove it, we filter it out. So we wanna return false whereby the ID of the particular smooth we're iterating equals this ID that we want to remove. I hope that makes sense. So all we need to say is the smoothie, this current smoothie we're iterating, dot ID is not equal to the ID that we want to remove because if that is false right here, then we're gonna remove that and that's what we want. And now we need to call this function from over here and pass in the ID of the smoothie we wanna delete. So we need to pass down this as a prop. So what I'm gonna do is come down here where we output the smoothie card and I'm gonna do a little on delete, kind of like a handler, but it's just a prop name. And we set that equal to the handle delete function that we just created right here. So we're passing that down as a prop and the prop is called on delete. So what we wanna do now is inside here, if this is a success where we delete it and we get data back, we can just call the on delete function. We need to accept it right here, first of all, on delete the prop. So we can call that on delete, like so. And remember, this function, handle delete, accepts in an ID. So we just need to pass in the ID of the smoothie we want to delete. Now we can get that from the data, or we can get it from this thing, sorry, this thing right here, the smoothie. So I can just pass in smoothie.id. And now my friends, that should all work. So in a browser, let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna delete this one down here, delete it deletes it from the database, we get the response and it deletes it from the UI as well. And if we refresh, we can see it's not there. Okay, one more, delete this one. Awesome, all working. 